Okay, here we are heading south on Highway 75. We are almost to the Creek Turnpike. Going east on the Creek Turnpike, we'll take you through South Tulsa, Bixby, and then we'll wind um, around and loop into um, Highway 169 North, which goes on the east side of Tulsa. And then if you take the Creek West, you'll end up in Sepulpa, and then it ties into Interstate 44, which takes you on to Oklahoma City. So we have already passed Tulsa Hills at the 71st and 81st exit. That's a big shopping center and restaurants and movie theater and uh, nail salons and all that kind of stuff. There's doc a couple of doctor's offices, uh, optometrists, you name it. Uh, pretty much everything back in Tulsa Hills. So we're going to exit 111th Street. Now last time we exited 121st Street, so we're exiting one mile. going on out this way. Everything that you see in the distance uh, is all newer construction. New businesses. This is some type of a factory. I'm not sure what they build here. Um, but there's no odor or anything like that. Okay, now we've looped up to 111th and we're going to go back east. This subdivision is just not far from the highway. As a matter of fact, I need to get back in there. So these are all older 1970s and 80s houses in this neighborhood. And then newer 2000 models over there. And then this is the entrance to neighborhood. And this is the home right here. It's a model home. It's where they're currently working out of. So I'll go inside to do the tour, but you'll see some personal items, work type items that of course will be gone by the time they sell it. Doing a quick street view. I noticed the really pretty red rose bushes. That's a nice touch. And then in yellow, and your neighbors here. They have identical mailboxes. And then it looks like this is just a green tree. Okay, so yes, you are the first home when you come in the neighborhood right now. However, this lot, I'm sure, will be coming for sale as well. So you won't be the first house for soon, and I'll verify that once I get inside if someone's there. The reason why I mention that is because um, if you're the first house in the neighborhood, usually that lot's a little cheaper because you've got the busy traffic of 111th. Uh, that you're dealing with so if you're a little more insulated and not quite on the end this helps with the sound barrier and improves the value of the property so it's a blend of brick and stone and stucco it's actually very attractive done guttering on this home. I'm not sure if that's a dormer or not. And we've got about a oh, 8 by 10 covered porch here. Alright, let's get inside. Okay, here we go. So we enter into a foyer. These are Really nice hardwood floors, bulldoze corners on 
the archways. tray ceiling which leads to another archway now down this hallway is um, two bedrooms you see there a bathroom here laundry room and then that goes to the single car garage laundry room here has is run for electric on your dryer so we've got a bit of a split bedroom plan So these are ceramic tile flooring and the tubs and the two baths are acrylic inserts, tub and surround combos. The fixtures are brushed nickel and the finishes are a dark stain. Don't get me lying about what type of wood that is. You've got your thermostat here. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the first bedroom. By the way, the great thing about buying a model home is that they throw in some really nice extras on a model home and they don't charge you for them. So for example, the Thunder, uh, which is our basketball team, our competitive basketball team, that painting, it was hand painted and it was a $1,200 expense. So it's a... Uh, that's something that they don't charge you for. Now, if you don't like the paint, then they can uh, they can repaint it. They can take it off. They can take it back to just the neutral, which is a uh, taupe colored. By the way, I'd mentioned there was one lot on the side of us. There's actually two, and I'll show you on the plat map in a minute. And bedroom number two, this was an $1,100 paint job. Again, you could keep it for free or they would come in and cover it up. Uh, no ceiling fans in the bedrooms, just the flush mount lights. But we could ask for them to change those out and they would be happy to give us a price. So closet number two is quite a bit smaller than closet number one. It's not terribly smaller but a little bit smaller the doors are a five panel raised door which is very pretty by the way this isn't stucco this is this is wood that has a heavy texture on it, so it's it's not stucco. Okay, and here's our nice large high ceiling hallway. This is the office, which has two sets of French doors. It does have a ceiling fan in this room. Again, with the wood floors carried through, fresh nickel on the finishes. And this is our plan, actually, the daily. Let me zoom in on this. So we are in that flex room. So this is, of course, mirrored. It's, it's flipped, but we are in the flex room. And here's the living room. So a couple of things I'll point out that are not standard and that have been upgraded on this particular home. Number one, the wood floors do not come standard. Number two, the wood beams do not come standard. Um, oh gosh, there's a lot of things. Of course, the painting on the two bedrooms that we just looked at are not standard. Um, this large, I guess I can't call it an island, this large peninsula is not standard. Usually the kitchen is not this large this wall is a little wider and that's your pantry and then you've got a, a freestanding island but in this particular design what they did was extend it so that you have this really long peninsula and move the cooktop over and tucked the pantry back behind we've got recessed lighting and then pendant lighting over 
I think. Nice high ceilings. And it's the same tile floor that we saw back in the bathroom. Mini blinds, that's another thing that is included with the sale of this home, which is nice. Uh, normally your mini blinds is something that you would pay substantially extra for, but because they went ahead and installed them in the model home, you would get them for free. Uh, the fridge is another thing. They've already put a fridge here and um, we could most likely get them to leave the fridge at no additional cost. So we have two different colors. We've got this really light stain on the uppers and the lowers on this side with the very dark granite. And then on this side, we have the brown, dark brown cabinetry like in the bathroom with more browns and tans in the granite. Not a ton of storage for your groceries. So let's take a look at the pantry, which offsets that. It's definitely one of the smaller pantries, but you've got this huge peninsula here. By the way, this cooktop, you can see there's no vent. You actually flip the vent here, and that starts an updraft. So that's your cooking vent. I like how they have a TV mounted here. That's a nice touch. Um, let's go to the ovens. So the oven itself, uh, I asked if it was convection and he didn't know, maybe we'll have to Google the model, but he did say that it is smartphone controlled. So if you're at the supermarket and you're buying a frozen pizza, um, you can go ahead and whip out your phone and turn the oven on so that it's nice and hot by the time you get here. I love that. And the microwave there. By the way, see the security camera there? He said that the security camera and all of the security components, the hardware, can stay with the property. We would just need to write that in on our offer, along with uh, things like the fridge and anything else that wouldn't normally stay. While we're at the back of the house, let me show you the backyard. They've done substantial landscaping, which also is not included and is usually an extra that you would pay for, but comes with this model home. So it is a small yard. I'm fitting the entire width of the yard in one iPad view. Um, but it is really pretty. I love the landscaping they've planted. Let me go from the end here and show you the entire size. This, by the way, is uh, one of the access panels for the sprinkler system, which also is not normally included, but it is on this particular one because it's a model. Here's your backyard. I would assume that the property ends where they've stopped mowing. So you've got a decent side yard if you wanted to add a side fence and fence that in. And it's not a horribly small yard, but it's not huge either. Now this neighborhood does have some really good uh, community features like the last neighborhood, Providence Hills. Um, it has the swimming pool and with the pavilion. Uh, it doesn't have the clubhouse. It doesn't have the basketball court. It does have um, uh, walking trails. They have two ponds, one which is stocked, the other is not. Um, and they have a playground. I noticed that they don't have gutters wrapping around the side of the house. They have them just wrapped barely around the front, front, a little bit on the side, and then they stop. So that may be something that we would want to ask, ask extra for. And they probably would not throw that in, but we could get them to add it in at a cost. 